Hello, my name is Bert Boerland and I'm the host of Bert Screencast of today. And today I want to talk about an application I've been using a lot lately for the last year, quite a year, I think. And it's called, let me look, Workflow, Workflow for iOS. Workflow is basically programming with Duplo, if that's what you like. You have a block with certain input and output, and that block, you could really put the mouse and put it to watch the next uh, one. And the out in output of one block is the input of another block. And that way you could manipulate text or, or do some workflow, hence the name. Uh, currently it's uh, rather stable. I think parts of it will end up eventually in iOS because, or, or in Android for that matter, because it's basically a functionality that needs to be in the operating system. But um, uh, it's good to have the innovation in, in, the, in a, uh, an external program as well. So the best thing to describe it uh, is using Yahoo Pipes. If people still know what Yahoo Pipes is, it started in 2007. I just finished, visited the site again and it said that it is being discontinued so if you don't know Yahoo Pipes I'm very sorry but no need for you to dive into it because it will be a discontinued service quite soon. So this is Yahoo Pipes you program with blocks for example here is a block that says Sandport that's the location I live and here is a Yahoo Newsfeed block you could just add a block like this and uh, you get and then use this as input etc so you can connect them this one won't work but basically what this one does it there's a Yahoo newsfeed search there's a CNN search there's a BBC uh, search this word is going to be searched and the output of that search will be piped in a union and its name and this pipe and you can cut them and, and, and combine them etc you can do all kinds of stuff uh, it's made unique um, and the location is extracted and the pipe will be outputted I saw it was an RSS currently it's just uh, I think a uh, plain text but you could also make an RSS for it of other stuff so you could also for example uh, ask the use for a locate for a date or um, use for inputs what else do we have and you could make this a block as well again so the input output of this could be a reusable block for someone else it really was a great service uh, here are some of my pipes um, so it's programming for dummies, right? You, you drag and drop your, your programming uh, to, together. Well, basically that's what this application for iOS is as well. Um, um, let me see where it is. Here it is, workflow. Done. Um, for example, make a GIF. A GIF, depending on uh, how you pronounce it. And I know there's a holy war. Uh, there's a block, this is the block, and it's take a photo. And it's taking 10 photos from the front, and the output of this is the input of this block. And this block, it says, uh, make a second every, uh, make those 10 every quarter of a second, loop forever, and auto resize them. And uh, send them towards Outlook. A uh, quick look, sorry, quick look is a, an application where you could um, a quick view uh, an, uh, an outcome. So let's run this one. Then you see this will go to a block. I will make 10 photos. Okay. It's processing them, making them into a GIF. And there you have the GIF. And it's looking forever. Um, now it's being processed towards Quick Look. It could also be processed to WhatsApp or to uh, a tweet or to what something else. So let's have another example. Um, for example, this is get the current location, a very basic one get a street view image of it and tweet it. So if I do a run, it will ask the current location of my phone. And once it has that, it asks Google to uh, uh, what it will look like. And this is actually my house. Um, I can tweet it, I won't. Um, so this is one way of running it. I like this one as well. Um, it's here for my next appointment. Um, I think, yes. And I could send that via SMS, etc. No. I don't know if my next appointment, no, my next appointment doesn't have a uh, um, location. Uh, so that won't work. So walk to a coffee shop, for example. So it will search within one and a half kilometers for a cafe. Uh, you could choose it, it will prompt the user, uh, and you can select one, and it can select one. And that variable will be pushed towards uh, a quick look, uh, sorry, towards a Google Street View image. And it, the other the same thing will also be parsed towards Google Maps or Maps app. That's that's the uh, Apple uh, app, and 
it will be you will be walking so let's run this one it's currently locating me looking in google or a couple of um, um, uh, uh, cafes uh, so let's go to the half man this is the half man and it's also yes that's one and the other thing is that uh, it's now you get a map and how you could walk to this cafe it's pretty close so there we go okay um, back to the application so it's a nice application you can build them yourself for example um, another good one I think of is speak the clipboard in Dutch or one I use as well and often is uh, look for my uh, next appointment and uh, app or tweet or, or uh, uh, WhatsApp usually um, my ETA so when I'm when I will be there or another good one is get a location from the photo uh, if there's access information so you can build them yourself there's a use gallery as well that you could uh, reuse um, for example uh, SMS when you get home um, all kinds of good stuff I really like it I hope you do um, I will dump the uh, show notes the, the link towards uh, buying this product I hope you do because um, it's been real fun for me and the more uh, galleries so the more useful stuff there is out there the more people use it the better it's for me there you go I hope you like the screen show uh, this uh, uh, screen uh, screencast um, give it a thumbs up if you do please share it and uh, I'll be seeing you in the next uh, screencast tomorrow bye take care